Many years ago, China was in the middle of a great war. The Chinese emperor said that one man from each family must leave his family to join the army. Mulan, a teenage girl who lived in a far away village, was outside washing clothes when heard the news with alarm. Running into the house where her father was carving a piece of wood, she cried out, Father, did you hear what the emperor has commanded? Yes, said her old father, putting down his carving. I heard, well, I may as well go back up. He stood up and walked very slowly to his room. Wait, said Mulan. Father, you have not been well. If I may say so, why at your age must you keep up with all those young men? What choice is there? said her father. Your brother is too young. Yes, of course he is, said Mulan. But I have an idea. She poured her father a cup of tea and handed it to him. Father, please sit a minute. I'll be right back. Very well, dear, said the father. Mulan went into her room and with her sword cut off her long black hair. She put on her father's robe. Going back to her father, she said, Look at me. Now I am your son. I will go in your place. I can do my part for China as well as anyone else can. What? No, cried the old man in horror. You cannot go to war. I will not allow this. Father, listen please, said Mulan. For years you trained me in Kung Fu. You showed me how to use a sword. She swung the sword back and forth with might. That was so you could protect yourself, said the father. If they find out you are a woman, you know as well as I that it would mean your life. No one will find out, father, said Mulan. She picked up her sword and kissed him goodbye. I love you, father, said the daughter. Take care of yourself. Tell my brother I said goodbye. She climbed on one of the family's horses and off she went to join the emperor's army. In the army, Mulan proved to be a brave soldier. She became an assistant to the general and her instincts seemed uncanny. Instinctively, she seemed to understand the weaknesses of her enemy and how she could surprise them. In time, she became the leader who led the soldiers into battle. Her battles went so well that she was put in charge of even more soldiers. Her battles kept on going well. After a few years, Mulan was given the top job. She would be general of the entire army. Not long after that, a very bad fever swept through the army. Many soldiers were sick and Mulan became sick too, the general of the army. When the doctor came out of Mulan's tent, he knew the truth. The general is a woman, yelled the soldiers. How can this be? Some called out. She tricked us and we will not fight for a woman. They said, punish her, make her pay. The cost is for her to die. But others called out in voices just as loud. With Mulan, we win every battle. They said, stay away from our general. Just then, a soldier ran up. Everyone, he called. A surprise attack is coming. Mulan heard this from inside her tent. She got dressed and went outside. She was not yet strong, but stood tall. 
she told the soldiers where they must go to hide so they could attack when the enemy came but they must get there fast the soldiers even those who did not like that their general was a woman could tell that mulla knew what she was talking about it worked the battle was won it was such a big victory that the enemy gave up at last the war was over and china was saved you can be sure that after that last battle no one cared any more that mulan was a woman the emperor was so glad that mulan had ended the long war he said aside the rule about being a woman mulan stay with me in the palace he said someone as smart as you would be a fine royal advisor mulan bowed deeply you are too kind sir she said but if you please what i wish most of all is to return home to my family then at least take these fine gifts said the emperor so everyone at your home village will know how much the emperor of china thinks of you mulan returned to her village with six fine horses and six fine swords everyone cheered that she was safe the person who had saved china was their very own mulan